but some of us fail to see this over here. Now this question seems very straightforward. Some of you may think, oh, I need 120 ribbons, each measuring 7 centimeters. So I will need a total of 120 times 7 cm. And that will be 840 cm of ribbon that is needed. And since the store is selling each row of ribbon at 40 centimeters, you will think to take 840 divided by 40 cm, and that gives us 21 rows of ribbon. All right, so done, that's it. But some of us fail to see this over here. This can only be done if we have a long giant ribbon that is 840 cm long, then this will work. However, we have to consider the practicality of this question. You see that here, the ribbons are actually sewed in rows, and each row measures 40 cm long. So what I need to do here is to consider, is there going to be any remainder when we actually do the division here. So you have to recall here, we need each piece of ribbon to be 7 centimeters. Consider how many pieces of ribbon we can cut out from each row. So you notice that it will give us a remainder. This is going to give us 5 with a remainder of another 5 cm. So what you do realize over here is that this 5 cm will be wastage. This 5 over here represents the amount of pieces that we can actually get out from every row. And how many pieces does Miss Trisha need? She needs a total of 120 pieces of ribbon. So what we are supposed to do for this is to take 120 divided by 5. And that is going to give us 24 rows of ribbon. So here's a visual demonstration of what happens to your row of ribbon. Now this is your 40 centimeter ribbon and we're going to cut it into 7 centimeter pieces. Now upon cutting, you'll see that we have 5 identical pieces that are 7 cm long. However, the last piece is a shorter piece and that is actually a 5 cm piece. So this 5 cm is not enough for us to form another piece of ribbon. So in conclusion, we will need to buy 24 rows of ribbon with 5 cm wastage per row.